Thank you for welcoming me into your home, wherever you are in the world. So we'll begin by um, doing uh, some practice together. We'll do a formal meditation practice together for about 35 minutes, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll move into a Dharma talk. And then, of course, we'll have time for what I love to call wisdom democracy, or a chance for us to share our wisdom and to ask any questions. And so noticing how the chat's still coming in as friends are still arriving from all over the world. And the beautiful thing about practicing from home is that we can explore any of these four postures that the Buddha has laid out for us. So sitting, standing, lying down. And so I invite you to take a few moments to get comfortable. And I know that's really difficult for some of us to understand what that means for our bodies to be comfortable. You want your body to be in a posture that allows it to feel a sense of rest and ease, where there isn't any holding or gripping. And so again, the invitation is to take a posture either sitting on the floor on a cushion, sitting on a chair in your bed, lying down at the body needs a little bit of rest and support this evening. And standing if there is, um, if there needs to be more energy or brightness brought into your practice. And we'll take a break and you can do walking practice during that time. So before I begin offering practice, I always like to take a moment to resource around my space. So this is something that we've borrowed from animals by turning our heads to the right. We can do this all together. So we're turning our heads over our right shoulder, keeping the eyes wide open as we begin to scan the horizon of our environment. So we're moving the head, keeping the eyes wide open. And when the chin rests over top of the left shoulder, perhaps we pause, take a breath in. And in that next exhalation, we begin to move the head to the other side. So as we're doing this, we're noticing different colors that are in our environment. So things that are blue and things that are green, things that are orange and things that are purple. noticing different shapes in our environment. So noticing what is square and what is round, what may be star-shaped or diamond-shaped, where there are rectangles or triangles. I like to notice elements of nature. So, for some of you who are on a different coast than I am, you might be noticing the sun setting. So there might be that beautiful golden sun at this time of day. Perhaps you can still notice the breeze blowing through the trees or the rains falling from the sky. It's nighttime where I am, so I'm just noticing the plants and the flowers in my environment. And so we notice the height of the space that we're in. So looking up, noticing the space that is above us. And then noticing the width of our environment. So what's to the right of us and what's to the left of us. And I can feel my body widening as I do that. And then also noticing the depth of our space. So what is in front of us, perhaps on the other side of our computer screen? And then what is that depth behind us? So what is behind over our right shoulder and perhaps over our left shoulder? And then as we come back to neutral, we can begin to rest our eyes. And for some of us, resting our eyes looks like keeping the eyes wide open, but keeping a, a soft gaze. For some of us, resting the eyes means to look down to a spot onto the earth. 
And for others, resting the eyes might mean to close the eyes altogether, to allow the top lid to just barely touch the bottom lid. And so we begin to arrive in this formal practice together and in community. So I like to begin by wiggling my toes and getting an idea of where my feet are in space. And maybe I'm noticing the texture of the carpet below me, the blanket that's resting over my feet. And then noticing where there are other points of contact. Is it perhaps through the bottoms of the feet, my cis bones as I sit in the earth? If I'm exploring or being with a lying down meditation practice today, perhaps the points of contact are coming through my sacrum or the back of my lungs, the back of my head. And if we're sitting, resting against a chair or a wall, maybe there's a point of contact where our back is resting and being supported by whatever is behind us. And so just noticing these points of contact. And then noticing how we know that there is a sense of connection, of contact. Perhaps there is a sense of weight or pressure, compression. We are aware of this body being held down by gravity. Perhaps we are feeling the weight of these bones that are holding up the structure of this body. The density, the weight, the stillness, the solidity of these bones. And knowing that since we are a microcosm of our natural world, that these bones are the earth in this body. The, birth, the bones are the earth living and expressing themselves in this human form. And so we feel this earth element sitting on earth element. We feel the earth holding earth. We know this earth resting on earth and being witnessed by earth. And so for many of us, this stillness in the body is our anchor, is where we come back to over and over again. It's where we find refuge and a sense of stillness and home. And for others, we might feel this sense of home or refuge or anchor through this felt sense of movement in the body of expansion and contraction of rising and falling away. Of knowing this body breathing itself in 
in this body breathing itself out. And I invite you to rest the hands on the low belly. See if you can feel the breath moving in and out through the belly. Expanding this belly just like a balloon as you breathe the breath in. And allowing the belly button to slide back towards the spine as the breath breathes itself out. So knowing this felt sense of expansion and contraction. And perhaps the body begins to fall into the rhythm of this breath. So perhaps the anchor becomes the sense of rhythm, of rocking, of the slight movement in the body. So exploring and seeing how that is for you. And we can know the water element as we know the moisture in the mouth, the moisture in the eyes, the tears that sometimes flow in our practice. As we know the synovial fluids that lubricate our joints, allowing our heads to move from side to side. And we know fire element in this body as we find stillness and notice the temperature in this body. And perhaps the body has begun to cool down as we've sat for a few minutes. Fire shows up as these digestive fires in the belly. The prickliness of our skin if we have goosebumps and the moisture of our skin if there's heat. And so we rest in our practice, knowing these bodies as an expression of the four elements, subject to impermanence, to change, knowing that if this emotion arises, another one will come right after. Or if this thought arises, that it's not gonna stick, it's not forever. And so we drop into whatever seems to be alive for us in our body as a place that we want to come back to. When the mind begins to wander, we can come back to one of these anchor points, bringing our concentration or focus there so that we can kind of touch in. Knowing the sense of stillness, of solidity, of gravity holding this body down. And 
the flow of this breath moving in and out of this body.
Thank you so much for your practice.